Welcome back, and you know, glad you all could come back today to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Hallelujah. We woke up this morning, but we didn't wake up on our own. Father God woke us all up and let us all count our blessings and uh, be thankful and content where we are. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Give Father God honor, praise, and glory because it belongs to Him and only Him. Okay? Many people did not wake up. You did. And you didn't wake up on your own. It's all Father God. Give Him all honor, praise, and glory. Okay? I love you all with the love of the Lord. Father God loves you more. Let us go right into prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. It's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior, that we say thank you. We're so very grateful and thankful for who you are. We're grateful for who you are to us, for us, and in us, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for everything that you do, have done, and will do. Father God, we know that it is you, it's all you, that woke us up this morning, that got us on our way, started us on our day. Uh, you are the author and finisher of our faith. You are all that we need, Lord God. Our faith has to be in Christ Jesus. We know that you, Father God, gave us an opportunity to have life. And not only have life, have it more abundantly. In that Jesus Christ, the only begotten of the Father, died for our sins. Paid in full. He was a propitiation for our sins. And uh, we need to work out our own salvation. And be in trembling of the Most High, we must study to show thyself approved. Thank you, Father God, for your outstretched arms. Thank you, Father God, for your grace and mercy. If not for your grace and mercy, we would not be here. Though we know you may have grace upon whom you may have grace, and compassion upon whom you may have compassion. We know you have no respect of persons, and neither do we. Thank you, Father God, for the stripes you took for us to have life. By your stripes we are healed. By your stripes we are made whole. By your stripes any and every infirmity and any and every member of our body is gone right here, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we believe it and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you for sending your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to set an example for us, to teach us how to live Christ-like, to strive for holiness and holiness only, to live a life of righteousness for your name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil, for thou art with us. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. Thou preparest a table before us in the presence of thine enemies. Thou anoint thou head with oil, thy cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for you being who you are. You are our Heavenly Father, creator of the heavens and the earth. You are awesome, truly awesome. Your works are wondrous, and so are the works that you do for the children of men. You are omniscient. You are omnipotent. You are omnipresent. You know all things. You made all things. There is nothing that was made that you didn't make. You made us. And you said that we are fearfully and wonderfully made in your image, Father. And we believe that and receive that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father, for all that you say that I am and I shall be, I say yea and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we trust you. We believe in you. You are our refuge and our fortress. Our God. And I say it again. My God and him. And you only, Father, do I trust. Hallelujah. 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 God, the truth in every man a liar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we ask that you guide us. Guide us in everything that we say and do. As we go through this day, as we go through every day, Father, we look up to you. We are truly blessed. We know that, Lord. Because you blessed us with another day. Whereas if we got it wrong, we have the opportunity to get it right. But we pray for this world to come to repentance. This world needs to repent before it's too late. Our time is up. Jesus is coming back. He's coming back for a spotless, blameless, unblemished bride. Without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. We all have to strive for holiness. We pray for all the brethren and the saints to be on holiness. To be on one accord, and that is holiness. Holiness only. Without it, no man going to see God. Without it, no man going to get into the kingdom of heaven. Holiness only. Thou art inexcusable, O man. Thou old man. There are no excuses. There's no compromising whatsoever. Holiness only in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you for our family members, loved ones, friends, strangers, and enemies. We thank you, Father God, for our beautiful brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. We thank you, Father God, for our spouses, our loved ones. And that also includes our extended families. We thank you for them too as well, Father God. Father God, I thank you for my spouse. 
You know, I thank you for him, Lord God. Sometimes, you know, we forget that um, when we're married, to show the love for our spouses. The same way people forget to show the reverence for the Lord thy God. We have to have reverence for God. He doesn't, he, we don't belong here, okay? It's the Father that shows us love. And you're the only reason why we're here, Lord God. The only reason. Because we earn absolutely nothing. We're like filthy rags. It's only your grace and mercy why we're still here. So let us all show love for one another. Let us all have reverence for the Lord thy God. Giving him all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Because it belongs to him and only him. Hallelujah. He belongs to you, my Father. Only you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, I know you've been fighting for me for a long time. I mean, a very long time. You've been with me even when I didn't know you were there. Forgive me where I fall short, my Father. And Father God, as you fight for me, Lord God, I am going to fight for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Teach our wars. Teach our hands to war in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And teach our fingers to fight. Father God, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you will pray for us, Father. That our faith never fails us. That our faith never fails us, Lord God. And Lord, Lord God, I ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, please don't allow me to be deceived. Do not allow me to be deceived, my Father. I trust you. I trust you with every being of me. Because it belongs to you and only you. Hallelujah. From my head to my toe. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Father God, help us to guard our eyes, heart, mind, and soul. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please help us, Lord, to guard our eyes, heart, mind, and soul. Because evil's waiting to pounce even at the door. We're not letting him in. No, we want nothing to do with him. We done chose you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For God, I'll live. For God, I'll die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who is our Lord and Savior? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, y'all love you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Father God, help us to stand upright at all times. And that includes in our marriage. That includes in our walk, no matter where we are, in, our, in the field, in the workplace, among friends, among family members, loved ones, strangers and enemies. Hallelujah. In our prayer closet. Let us all stand upright. And that is seen and unseen. Let our light so shine before men that he show our good works and glorify our Father which are in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you. We really can never say enough thank you. We are truly blessed. Let us count our blessings and let us be content therewith. Let us all open our mouths and be bold as lions and preach the gospel in season and out because we are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it, to the Jews first and also to the Greeks. And we believe it and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us all open our mouths and get that blood off our hands. You may save a soul, even pull that soul out of the pits of hell. But don't you be ashamed. Don't you dare be ashamed. If you're ashamed of the Lord today, he'll be ashamed of you on judgment day in front of his Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, we can't say thank you enough. We're so very grateful to you. And Father God, we repent for all our wrongdoing, past, present, and future transgressions. And that's every generation. Past, present, and future transgressions, Father God, we repent. Please forgive us where we fall short, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we plead the blood of Jesus of all the listeners, all those in the body of Christ, all our family members, loved ones, and friends. We ask, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you please place a head of protection, not only a head of protection, a firewall of protection around all the listeners, all those in the body of Christ, all our family members, loved ones, and friends. And Father God, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you please bless all the listeners, bless those in the body of Christ, all our family members, loved ones, and friends. Only you know we have need of, Father God. It's your will, your way, hallelujah. And we know no weapons formed against us shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, let your will be done in all our lives, in our marriage, in our homes, in our finances, in our life, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In our life and in our ministry as well, let your will be done, my Father. Hallelujah. Let your will be done in our lives of our children, in the lives of our children, our family members, and our loved ones. Let your, your will be done, Father God, on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Because we know that the evil one's ramping itself up and going crazy, and I mean crazy. But you see, we serve a mighty God, the Almighty, a God that never sleeps or slumbers, who's in charge, always have been, and always will be. Hallelujah. Have your way today, Father God. In, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Father God, we can't say thank you enough. We're so very grateful and thankful to you. 
We grateful for you. We grateful for who you are to us, for us, and in us. We grateful for any and everything that you do have done and will do. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. We worship you. We exalt you. God bless you, Father God. We praise our holy name. You're worthy to be praised each and every day, all day. We glorify thy holy name. To God be all the honor, praise, and glory. We love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Every member of our body belong to you and only you, Father God. We say use this for your glory, in your glory alone. Everything I do is for your glory, in your glory alone, my Father. And you are greatly to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Your name is to be hallowed each and every day, all day throughout the day. And we love you, Father God, because you first loved us. And we love you with an everlasting love and will never forsake thee. And we say this prayer to you, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, who is our Lord and Savior, with an holy kiss. And it's in the holy, precious, mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen and hallelujah. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us not stop there. Hallelujah. If you haven't given your life to Christ, you have the opportunity to do so right here, right now. You can give your life to Christ right here, right now if you say this prayer. But let me tell you something. God is not someone that you play with. It's not good to be caught up in the hands of an angry God. So I'm telling you this. If you're ready to receive him, you're truly going to seek him in sincerity and truth. And you're going to honor him. And you're going to seek his face daily and read your word. And cry out to him in prayer. If you're not going to do that, don't bother. Because it's not a game. We're too late. And time is too of the essence. We don't have time to play. Okay? If you truly want to seek the Lord thy God and you're ready to receive him into your life to be your Lord and Savior, then please say this prayer. Hallelujah. I pray to you, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I am sorry. And please forgive me for my sins. Against your word. I believe you are. The only begotten. Son of God. And you died. For our sins. According to scriptures. And was buried. And rose again the third day. Thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I am saved. And have a chance at everlasting life. Help me to study your word and obey it and repent daily. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now please repent for your sins. That means you're going to turn from your wicked ways. You're going to strive for holiness and holiness only. And you are not to sin on purpose. And you ought to be baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations and God bless you in your walk with Christ, my new brothers and sisters. And remember this. It is not a religion. It's a personal relationship between you and the Lord thy God, a commitment and love. We in the body of Christ, we welcome you, my new brothers and sisters. Welcome to the body of Christ. May we edify one another. Pray with and pray for one another. Pray without ceasing. Fast. Bear one another's burdens. Give love and charity because they cover a multitude of sin. To each and every one again, Congratulations, my new brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. We love you. And Father God loves you more. To each and every one of us, 
Let us all read our Bible, our Bible, God's Word. Please read your Bible, God's Word, which is the Holy Scriptures, preferably the King James Version. Go down on your knees in prayer and cry out to the Father. He'll hear your cries and he'll answer you. If you seek him in sincerity and truth, he knows our hearts. If you're not sincere in your walk, he knows that as well. Father God wants a personal relationship with each and every one of his children. He loves us all so very much and he has no respect to persons. Please read the Bible yourself. Don't let somebody else tell you what it says. Because if they don't have the Holy Spirit and they were not sent, they cannot teach you. The Father will teach you. Cry out to him. If you draw nigh unto him, meaning draw close to him, he will draw close to you. Okay? I love you all with the love of the Lord. That's why I tell you the truth. With that being said, we're now going to read scriptures. On the day Father God has given me, Ezekiel chapters 27 and 28. And we shall read them. Hallelujah. Ezekiel chapter 27. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Now, thou son of man, take up a lamentation for Tyrus, and say unto Tyrus, O thou that art situate at the entry of the sea, which art a merchant of the people for many isles. Thus saith the Lord God, O Tyrus, thou hast said, I am of perfect beauty. Thy borders are in the midst of the seas. Thy builders have perfected thy beauty. They have made all thy shipboards of fir trees of Sina. They have taken cedars from Lebanon to make masts for thee. Of the oaks of Bashan have they made thine oars. The company of the Asherites have made thy benches of ivory, brought out of the isles of Shittim. Fine linen with broidered work from Egypt was that which thou spreadest forth to be thy sail. Blue and purple from the isles of Elisha was that which covered thee. The inhabitants of Zion and Arvad were thy mariners, thy wise men, O Tyrus, that were in thee, were thy pilots. The ancients of Gebel and the wise men thereof were in thee, thy caucus, and all the ships of the sea were with their mariners were in thee to occupy thy merchandise. They of Persia and of Lord and of Foot were in thine army, thy men of war. They hang the shield and helmet in thee. They set forth thy comeliness. The men of Arvad with thine army were upon thy walls round about. And the Gamadims were in thy towers. They hang their shields upon thy walls round about. They have made thy beauty perfect. Tarshish was thy merchant by reason of the multitude of all kind of riches. With silver, iron, tin, and lead. They traded in thy fairs. Jogon, Tubal, and Meshach, they were thy merchants. They traded the persons of men and vessels of brass in thy market. They of the house of Torgamah traded in thy fairs with horses and horsemen and mules. The men of Dedan were thy merchants. Many isles were the merchandise of thine hand. They brought thee for a percent, for a present, excuse me, they bought thee for a present horns of ivory and ebony. Syria was thy merchant by reason of the multitude of the wares of thy making. They occupied in thy fairs with emeralds, purple, and broidered work, and fine linen, and coral, and agate. Judah and the land of Israel, they were thy merchants. They traded in thy market wheat of minute, and penag, and honey, and oil, and balm. Damascus was thy merchant in the multitude of the wares of thy making, for the multitude of all riches in the wine of Helban and white wool. Dan also and Jevon, going to and fro, occupied in thy fairs. Bright iron, Casia, and Calamus were in thy market. Dedan was thy merchant in precious clothes for chariots. Arabia and all the princes of Kedar, they occupied with thee in lambs and rams and goats. And these were they thy merchants. The merchants of Sheba and Rema, they were thy merchants. They occupied in thy fairs with chief of all spices and with all precious stones and gold. Haran and Canaan and Eden, the merchants of Sheba, Asher and Chilmad, were thy merchants. 
These were thy merchants in all sorts of things, in blue clothes and embroidered work, and in chests of rich apparel, bound with cords and made of cedar among thy merchandise. The ships of Tarshish did sing of thee in thy market, and thou wast replenished and made very glorious in the midst of the seas. Thy rowers have brought thee into great waters, and the east wind hath broken thee in the midst of the seas. Thy riches in thy fairs, thy merchandise, thy mariners, and thy pilots, thy caulkers, and the occupiers of thy merchandise, and all thy men of war that are in thee, and in all thy company which is in the midst of thee, shall fall into the midst of the seas in the day of thy ruin. The suburbs shall shake at the sound of the cry of thy pilots, and all that handle the oar, the mariners, and all the pilots of the sea shall come down from their ships. They shall stand upon the land, and shall cause their voice to be heard against thee, and shall cry bitterly, and shall cast up dust upon their heads. They shall wallow themselves in the ashes, and they shall make themselves utterly bald for thee, and gird them with sackcloth, and they shall weep for thee with bitterness of heart and bitter wailing. And in their wailing they shall take up a lamentation for thee, and lament over thee, saying, What city is like Tyrus, like the destroyed in the midst of the sea? When thy wares went forth out of the seas, thou fillest many people, thou didst enrich the kings of the earth with a multitude of thy riches and of thy merchandise. In the time when thou shalt be broken by the seas in the depths of the waters, thy merchandise and all thy company in the midst of thee shall fall. All the inhabitants of the isles shall be astonished at thee, and their king shall be so afraid. They shall be troubled in their continents. The merchants among the people shall hiss at thee. Thou shalt be a terror, and never shall be any more. Chapter 28 The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus saith the Lord God, Because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God, I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man and not God, though thou set thine heart as the heart of God. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches, and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic hast thou increased thy riches, and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of God, behold, therefore I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Wilt thou yet say before him that slayeth thee, I am God? But thou shalt be a man, and no God. In the hand of him that slayeth thee, thou shalt die the deaths of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers. For I have spoken it, saith the Lord God. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Cyrus, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest up the sum, full of wisdom, and perfect in beauty. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God, Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy, the workmanship of thy tablets, and of thy pipes, was prepared in thee in a day that thou wast created. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created, till iniquity was found in thee. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. Therefore I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty, Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. 
I will lay thee before kings, that they may behold thee. Thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries by the multitude of thine iniquity, thine iniquities, by the iniquity of thy traffic. Therefore will I bring forth a fire from the midst of thee. It shall devour thee, and I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee. All they that know thee among the people shall be astonished at thee. Thou shalt be a terror, and never shalt thou be any more. Again the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Zidon, and prophesy against it, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Zidon, and I will be glorified in the midst of thee, and they shall know that I am the Lord, when I shall have executed judgments in her, and shall be sanctified in her. For I will send into her pestilence, and blood into her streets, and the wounded shall be judged in the midst of her, by the sword upon her on every side, and they shall know that I am the Lord, and there shall be no more a pricking briar unto the house of Israel, nor any grieving thorn of all that are round about them, that despise them, and they shall know that I am the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God, when I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered, and shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the heathen, then shall they dwell in their land that I have given to my servant Jacob. And they shall dwell safely therein, and shall build houses and plant vineyards. Yea, they shall dwell with confidence when I have executed judgments upon all those that despise them round about them. And they shall know that I am the Lord their God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In our regular reading, hallelujah, we're still in the book of Job. And today... We're on chapter 10. This is Job again speaking. I am sick of life. Job is speaking now to God because of what's happening to him, the plagues and things that's happening to him that we know the devil is doing, but he thinks God is against him. God is not against him. He loves Job. Job complains to God. I am sick of life. Chapter 10 of the book of Job. I am sick of life, and from my deep despair, I complain to you, my God. Don't just condemn me. Point out my sin. Why do you take such delight in destroying those you created and smiling on sinners? Do not look at things the way you do not look at things the way we humans do. You know that I am innocent, but who can defend me against you? Will you now destroy what you have created? Remember that you molded me like a piece of clay, so don't turn your back and turn me into dust once again. My bones you have put together with muscles and covered them with flesh and skin. You, the source of my life, showered me with kindness and watched over me. You have not explained all of your mysteries, but you catch and punish me each time I sin. I am condemned and ashamed because of my troubles. No matter how hard I try, you become furious and attack over and over again. Why did you let me be born? I would rather have died before birth. I mean carried to the grave without ever breathing. I have only a few days left. Why don't you leave me alone and let me find some relief before I travel to the land of darkness and despair, the place of no return. Amen. That's Job. He's complaining to God because he thinks God has, let, has forgotten about him. God didn't forget about him. God knows Job's heart. He knows that Job loves him. That's why he's letting him be tested by the devil. But he won't let him take his life no matter how much he put him through. But you see, Job didn't give up on God yet. He won't give up on God because he's faithful and true. Hallelujah. He is truly faithful and loyal to the Lord, which we all should be. Well, God's willing tomorrow, we'll be on chapter... No, not tomorrow. I'm sorry. Monday. We'll be on chapter 11 of the book of Job. So much foolish talk. This is going to be Zophar's, I guess as his friend, his first speech. I love you all. The love of the Lord. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. But more so than that, tell all... All of your loved ones that you love them. Because we're not promised today. We're not promised tomorrow. We're definitely not promised the rest of this day. And tell them about Father God. Tell any and all that will hear you about Father God, who is Jesus Christ in the flesh. Father God is a Holy Spirit. And our Holy Spirit came down that begotten body. That same Holy Spirit dwells within you and I. If we seek Him in sincerity and truth, with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, you should hear from Him. Hallelujah. Don't have aught with anyone. 
That means don't have problems with people. No matter what you do, you got to try to live peaceable with all men. You can agree to disagree, but you must have love and you must love them. And you must forgive them. I don't care who, what, who or what he or she has done. You must forgive them. Because Father God, it says you wish your Father in Heaven to forgive you for your sins. You must forgive your fellow man. I don't care who he or she is or what he or she have done. Hallelujah. I love you all to love the Lord. You all have yourself a beautiful rest of the day. Have yourself a blessed weekend and happy Sabbath. And uh, Father God loves you more. God bless you all from youngest to oldest alike. God bless you. Bye-bye.